So I tried doing a video for TikTok about how, or live, about how to make cheap amp guard weapons, and seven minutes, it banned me for six months. And in order for me to even submit an appeal, it wants me to send it, like a picture of my driver's license. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the video here, and then I'm going to just put the link on my TikTok and say, yo, if you're interested, go check this out. You know, I'm also pissed off to no end, but we'll talk about that later, and I, I skipped a step. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning here. So, this is to make cheap TikTok... Tip, tip, I did the same damn thing. Cheap amp guard weapons. And I've got Discord in the background, so if I reach out and do this, uh, I'm, I'm on Discord. Because role playing can't get enough of it. All right, what you need first of all, PVC. Again, this is going to be for cheap, short weapons, and you can. There's two hand weapons. There's long weapons, pole arms, everything that you can use in amp guard. But PVC is too shaky. For you to be able to use it for a longer weapon. You can't even do the full one-handed weapon. Because if you do, it's going to shake around. So this is for about two foot sections. Maybe I can't calculate where shit. But if you're looking for a cheap weapon to get started, use PVC. I personally prefer bamboo. It's strong. It The problem is... It shatters, which is actually, if you wrap it in tape, it can prevent that and slides around. But it's hard to use, but it, the results are so worth it. You'll have an extremely light weapon. So I already was started on something. I was about to hear when it was like, your account's now banned for six months. Fuck you, TikTok. Fuck you. It's not even a real fucking weapon. Was it because was it because I showed a utility knife? Did I? Anyways, no one no one cares. No one cares about my personal problems. Second off, you need a pool noodle. I am not shitting you. For the PVC, I grabbed three quarters inch, which three quarters doesn't go in that hole. You need to open it up. Using lube doesn't work. I'm gonna be surprised if I don't get banned on here. So. What you need to do is, already, again, I already start over here, and then I promptly realized I missed a step when I was actually looking at it. But you cut it open, you put, I'll go ahead and show you. Give me a second, I'll grab another link. We'll just put this one to the side. Most hardware stores will actually sell small, fucked up, fucked up, kind of, small links of PVC that you're going to be able to pick up for a couple dollars. I know Ace does. But in the event that you don't, you need a hacksaw. Ah. Give me a second, I'm just cutting the link because I didn't actually cut all these out because I didn't think I needed to. Yeah. We're just going to ignore that. Come on, finish cutting. And you don't have to worry about if you mess up and it doesn't line up perfect and looks ugly because that's actually going to be solved really quickly. So, here's the length. I want to say it's somewhere between two, two and a half feet. And then these little shards of PVC. I work in a freaking hardware store and I don't remember what this is called. But you just kind of use a utility knife smooth or a knife, smooth it on out. You don't really need to. I just liked it. So now what we're going to do, because I forgot to in the beginning, is... So we're going to take the foam, and for me, it doesn't matter which side you're going to go ahead and have the... doesn't matter if you want this side to be the blade, doesn't matter if you want this side to be the blade. What we're going to do is we're going to put a foam plug in each side. You have to have, for the tip, one and a half inches of foam. You cannot feel the core. Now, if you've got it, just the core opened up like this. Then, 
then it goes ahead and actually breaks down the foam that you're going to use. So, take, I'm trying to remember how to do this because it's been a fat minute. We're actually going to use electrical tape for this. So, all right, I should probably list materials. PVC, pool foam, or pool noodle, tennis ball, electrical tape, where'd my packaging tape go? Packaging tape, a knife. You are gonna need the knife. You just don't need a utility knife. Okay, so what you can do is, however you want, there's no science to this, That, that, that's it. There you go. Now you want to kind of go ahead and put a couple of lengths of tape over it to keep it in place. So I can't believe it. Like, actually, more than a few people were hopping on there. I was feeling proud of myself. Boom! Banned. Fuck TikTok. Just one around. That didn't quite cover it all, but hey. So, I'm gonna want to go ahead and do this for both ends. I can use that one later. It's actually surprisingly easy to do. I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but yeah. Not into, if I can manage to avoid cutting myself, I am not an emo. You stay. It does not matter if it looks pretty or not. Oh, hey, I did cut myself. Because no one's going to be seeing it. The sole purpose is to just make sure that the core is not felt beneath the tip. You don't actually have to worry too much about the hilt, as I will show you. That's why we've got tennis ball. But it is better safe than sorry. Also, I got a message on Discord, so you gentle ah, people. You stay right there. Uh, yeah, you go down... What shit, fuck. Oh, okay, I guess so I guess I'm there. No, I'm not apologizing for doing this. Okay, yeah. Back to it. Next up, go ahead and lay, actually measure out how much you want. So... Clearly, I don't have enough PVC for this amount of foam. I want to figure out how much the handle is going to be, and the tennis ball is going to come up to about here. How's that not going to look shitty? I'll just go ahead and show you later. So I'm going to put it right about here. And since this actually will not fit inside the pool noodle, we're going to improvise. We are going to play the doctor. Just open it up. Now nah, I'm kind of hungry for fish. Okay. Now, making sure you get your plug inside. Let's 
does not want him to cooperate whatsoever. I might have made it too long, actually. Oh, uh, we're about to find out. I'm gonna have a very, 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 very short handle. Now, this is where the packaging tape comes into it because we can't exactly leave that open. And you can see this is about where I got minus the plugs. For they fucking. I'm still pissed about that. I'm still pissed. I'm gonna be pissed till the end of the day. And then after tomorrow, and the day after. I know. I know. It's cringy. I'm on TikTok. I get it. I'm on there as a cosplayer. I'm not one of the people doing those idiotic dances. Alright, there we go. Enough about my life. Let's do weapons. So you're going to go ahead and tape it. And you're going to curse as your tape stops taping. And you're going to attempt to find the edge... And think that Satan himself went ahead and made these so you can't find the edge. And then you're going to continue taping. There we go. Doesn't have to look pretty. People aren't going to be looking at the foam anyways. make packaging tape so loud. I know, heaven forbid I've got I've recorded this all beforehand then edited and just jumped ahead. Just use scissors for that. Oh well. Anyways, so now, so now, right now, it doesn't look good whatsoever. We're gonna fix that. Kind of. It's not gonna look great at the end. I might be cutting this back so I can actually have a place to put my hand. But now we go to the tennis ball, and this is actually told me by a veteran, Lit both amp guard veteran and literal veteran. See, normally making a hilt is a pain in the ass, because you have to, it has to be like this long, it's foam at the bottom, it's like this, it's clunky. He didn't like it, I didn't like it, so he showed me this little tip. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut an X in the tennis ball, X marks the spot. <sighs> X marks the spot. X, E, X. Okay. <laughs> and you are going to put it on the end. Oh, trying not to smack yourself in the face. Okay. Then go ahead and make sure that all of the points are out. And for now, believe it or not, we're just going to leave that. The most important part of it, and the part that they really, really look at, is the front. There has to be, according to the rules, 1.5 inches of foam at the end, and you cannot feel the core. They don't really know where the core ends, and it's just making... It. It's just easiest to go ahead and put one layer of foam over it. One layer of foam, little foam. It's about 1.5 inches. If you do the plug, then it, it's about there. I did go through the right tavern, right? Yes, I'm looking at Discord again.
Okay. So. Now. Is really some. Yeah. Just half a round of pool noodle. Half a round. There's no actually measurement for pool noodles, is there? Half a round. Half a noodle. Half a slice. You're going to put that on the end. You're going to almost hit yourself in the groin. If you're clumsy, ah, you're going to almost hit yourself in the face with the tape. You're going to lose the tape under the fridge. I should have set up the sewing machine beforehand. See, it's also, if you're like me, you don't put a lot of forethought into things. So, mm -hmm. it's going, this is going to be easy to you. For you. And you don't actually need a sewing machine for this. I'm just going to do it because the cover takes forever to sew by hand. And it's not very neat. I used to hand, I used to not have a sewing machine. Now, I've got one. Let's do, do the hand sewing for the little stuff, but... You're going to need a cloth cover to cover the entire length of this. Oh, hey, it's actually about the size of a short sword. Hey. So now what we're going to do is you need a sleeve of cloth to cover this. Not canvas. Uh, old bed sheets good. Pillow sheets. I actually grabbed a, like, just matte colored dress from a... Don't judge me. From a thrift store because again cheap and i just grabbed it and so we're going to use that i'm going to move where is my there's my sewing machine like oh hang on i'm gonna make sure that this is one of my oh wait no that's my shirt yeah let's not use that where did that cloth there's the cloth Wait, no, this is my girlfriend's. Shit. Where did my cloth go? I actually had cloth for this. Is it not my girlfriend's? I don't know. I'll find out about the later. Be right back. I don't know what you're looking for. You'd have to go out. You'd have to go out and grab it yourself. Look. So I will be right back. I have to actually run out to my shop and grab the cloth from there. Yep. And no, I cannot pause this. Voila, old bed sheet. More answering to Discord. Voila, your door. Love you too, babe. Alright, so now what you need to do is clear off all the junk in front of you and awkwardly struggle with whatever your chosen cloth is going to be. Do you need to see my bird? I have no, scissors I'm good. for you. Good. You're going to want it down past the foam down here. 
And if you want to, you can actually cut off here. And I totally forgot about doing that. Basically, that way you don't just have a squared off piece of foam hitting you. When you get... Uh, I lost train of my thought. Alright. When you get more used to making these, and I haven't done anything I've got related in two years... You will be able to shape weapons more to your liking. It's actually pretty easy. Once you know what you're doing. I clearly do not. So. Behold. The sheet. Come down a little this way. So we got some room to work with. That's basically what you're going to do. And then, snip, snip, you want to leave about that much. Like, you put your fingers about the width of your nose apart. That's a good measurement. Put it on the side of the foam. So you can't really see it because it's the other way, but go like that. And leave that. That way you've got room for messing up. Because if you're anything like me, you're going to do that a lot. Uh, you know, come to think of it, I could just measure it out and then cut it down. So we're just going to cut down one side. We're going to cut down the other. Get over here. There we go. And then you're going to make sure that you didn't cut off too much. You're going to sign relief that you did not cut off too much, and you don't have to go through that process again. And I'm going to actually use this side, where it's actually nice and squared off, for the inseam. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sew... I'm going to just flip the side. There we go. You're going to roll it on up, and you're going to sew down here. And then you're going to turn it inside out. Because you need the cloth cover. Because you can't just beat people with this. Plus it doesn't look very nice. Alright, to the sewing machine. If you want to be in a LARP group, you're either going to want to make friends with someone with a sewing machine or get yourself a sewing machine. I recommend the former because all too often you can bribe that, bribe that friend with food and you won't actually have to sew any of your own shit. All right. It's been a fat minute since I've used this. foot pedal. It actually didn't go too bad last time I used this. We're good. So, first off, the top, oh right, turn it inside out. You want the shiniest side on the outside, or the best looking side. Okay. 
Is it actually doing it? I don't know. I can't see that side. Nope. Okay, crap. Ah, well, that's why. I guess it'd actually help if I thread the needle, huh? There we go. Let's try this one again, huh? Right, uh, ah, right, and you know, putting the foot down too. You can see how experienced I am doing this. Use the scissors and cut back this so I can get kind of an even go at it. Okay, try to make sure it's even all the way down, which is the biggest pain ever. Turn it. Okay, no, take it back. This is the biggest pain ever. Oh, shit. Uh, is that the one? Yeah, that's about like I mean, it'll work. Maybe. Oh crap. Oh shit, right, I can actually let it go. Do not ever repeat anything you hear on this channel. It's been a fad minute since I did my last video on here too. Ran out of thread. How much did we actually get done? Oh shit. Oh, you got a big old tangle in the back. I am complete. Where did my thread even. The good news is we got up to here. I did all the entire thing. No. No, we, we didn't. Damn, we didn't get anywhere with that. There are things to be said for hand sewing. Although it takes a hot minute. I used to hand sew all my stuff, and it took literally forever. Literally. I probably should have checked to see if that thing had thread before I started. Okay, well. Uh, good news is, I'm still threaded with that. So I just need thread for the big thing. Which I didn't even think to check before I started, so hey. Uh, at least I don't pretend to know what I'm doing. I know, heaven forbid. Uh, we're using green. I can remember how to thread this thing anyways. Uh, one. Two. I love how it actually has this, like, numbered. For people like me. Okay, four. I'm lost. Where the hell is five? Uh, well, I hope this is it. Maybe. Uh, possibly. 
put it through the boot, stretch it on the back. So I'm going to have a green and black thread. Why not? It works. Okay. Let's try this one again. Itchy nose. Turns I've never been able to get. Is that even long enough? Maybe. We're, we're going to find out here in a few minutes. Hopefully. Okay. Hi, old silver. Away. Maybe we shouldn't do max speed. Ugh. Anyone want to take bets if this YouTube's taken down because I've cursed so much in it? I know, heaven forbid someone says fuck. I'd like to point out that there's a kids section of YouTube. Like, there's a YouTube kids app. So why do they want to make the rest of YouTube kid-friendly? Your account has been banned. If, unlike me, you do concise measurements... Then this will go a lot easier for you. Let's charge that out. At least I know how to do that part. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. We're going to see if it fits now. A little tie off. 